don't act like a strong, independent woman. Because <laughs> they'll believe you. <laughs> Don't lay on your back like turtle for these men. Just don't have sex with these guys for nothing. Vai com cuidado. Se protege. It's like, go slow, like take care, protect yourself. Uh, wear a condom. <laughs> or dump him. So one piece of dating advice like my female cousins have gotten is don't be fooled by guys with nice cars because you don't know if it's a rental. Oh, you have to follow a fine boy. Fine boy, you have to bring us a fine boy. If the boy is not fine, we don't want him. My mom. Always. <laughs> no vas a tomar nada que no te lo den cerrado. Make sure you don't kiss on the first date. Don't give it up on the first date. Make sure there's no form of funny business. As a girl child, you have to take care of yourself and don't follow boys. I knew that when I saw a boy on the street, I would just go around, even though I could take like a five minute walk, could take me like a day. Have many friends, you know male friends <laughs> don't sleep with all of them but just have a few around and then you know it's like a box of chocolate then you decide hmm. si te quiere que le cueste meaning that if he really loves you he really needs to make an effort you know to work so hard um if someone's interested in you like you will know there'll be no doubt like they shouldn't leave you questioning and i've definitely found that to be true like when people are playing games and all that they're not that interested i asked my aunt this a few years ago and she'd said like picture your life 10 years time if you're if you can't picture your life without that person then that's that's your person and then i cried that's it <laughs> i wasn't a bar and i probably had like four <laughs> games and stuff the only advice i got from my mother was try to only have sex when you're in love because she wanted to protect us but here's the problem Chileans fall in love all the time and at the drop of the hat. So you meet someone and 24 hours later you're like, oh my god, I'm so in love. So you have sex. I don't think most Japanese people will talk about love with their parents. Culturally, we don't feel really comfortable getting relationship advice from our parents or relatives. For typical Indian parents, there's no dating vocabulary in their dictionary. So they were always like, make sure you don't date. I shouldn't date after I finish college at least. One of my close friends told me that we should always respect the guy, the like man. Oh wow, your story is interesting or like something like that to motivate the guy. Always respect your man and get a man with good manners. <laughs> it was like a funny way to say like just be careful because they're all a uh, bunch of losers but sorry. Treat girls gently and sweetly and kindly because they're smaller, more fragile human beings and we gotta be extra nice to them. You gotta be a gentleman every time. Chivalry is not dead in Croatia. You know, like my mother always told me, you know, be respectful and always treat a woman well. A man has to love love you more, and in most cases, it just works out better. Xiao, which means filiality, is a very vital part of Chinese culture. A piece of advice that my parents gave me to always look at how this dude treats his own parents and family members. Okay, so I don't like it, but my mom always told me, um, look how he treats his mother. I used it in a way that I, I, I looked how he treated people around him. Don't judge the person quickly with their appearance, like how they look. But I, I'm supposed to look what's inside the person. Find the, the right girl, uh, find the right person. How good is any expensive porcelain bowl if you have no soup for it? When it comes to women and dating, and it's about looks against inner value, so you want to have an inner value as well and not just go for the looks. What matters is that she's nice to me. They didn't give me much other advice, actually. They're very open in terms of who I wanted to date. Um, my dad says, don't go for somebody who is always angry, and that's because there's a lot of men in Indonesia that can't really process their emotions as well as we can. We don't have that luxury to date a lot, so they advise us to choose the right person. Uh, it's like a good girl, or good boy. Uh, for guys, find a good girl, uh, and for girls, find a good guy. Kindness and integrity and generosity are very valued in the Greek society. But with building blocks, you get to build whatever you want. So rather than looking at your love life, like a puzzle you have to solve, look at it as a building block you get to build. Dating advice all through our high school and college is no boys until you're done school. Don't even look at one. <laughs> None. I actually didn't receive any dating advice from my parents, which is probably why I'm still single. Well, my parents never knew I was dating. It's a thing in Lebanon, we just hide it with time. Like, my dad would always tell me, like, make sure you're, you never depend on anyone. Like, always make sure you're independent. 
and you always have a plan B because you never know where life takes you. He said men are like dogs and women are like cats. He's like, play it cool when it comes to women. It didn't make me better with girls, it made me way better with cats though. If the guy can do uh, 25 push-ups, you may consider giving him your number. I'm like, okay dad, that's pretty demanding. To never settle for anything less than I deserve. And follow your heart, be true to yourself, and you're beautiful just the way you are. Just don't lie, don't play with the feelings, and tell this as is. Verás, hijita, que sea un chico de casa, educado, con valores, que te respete, study, work, like focus on yourself, no boys. <laughs> and then when you're 30, it's like, why aren't you married? Where are my grandchildren? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you kept me locked in. Your mother goes to you, listen, be good to the girl, treat her nicely, bring her flowers, you know, be respectful. Now here comes your father, he hands you a condom and he says, you know, be safe, don't get anybody pregnant. After that, just good luck and have fun. Yeah, no, my parents didn't let me date, so the advice was, no dates. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was it, no dates. But if I have to describe it, it was, it was a washing machine with too much water in it. It was so horrible that I did not kiss anyone for a year after that. This is his tongue and this is my tongue and I don't know what to do, so I'm just like there and it was like, it was just like attacking. <laughs>